friend, I'm Pastor Danny Davis. I want to talk to you about money today. You know, not too long ago, I wrote a book uh, called The Combined Laws of Prosperity, and I talked about seven keys to prosperity and wealth that come directly from the Word of God. I, I, I want you to know there's two groups of people in the body of Christ and the evangelical church world, the same as in the United States, you've got two predominant political parties. You've got uh, Democrats and Republicans. In the church world, in the evangelical church world, you've got 50% of the church world that believes in the message of prosperity. They believe God is in the business of performing financial miracles for people. And then you've got this group over here that almost believe it's a sin to even talk about money. I can promise you, because I'm talking to you about money right now, the haters will come out and attack me. It always happens whenever I talk about money, people get mad. They're part of this group over here that doesn't believe in prosperity. Well, I want to talk to you today about the law of agreement. You know, uh, in the book of Amos chapter 3 and verse 3, the Bible asks, can two walk together except they agree? How can two walk together except they agree? You know, a while back, my wife and I, we went to a steakhouse up near where I live in 29 Palms, California. And uh, we were sitting in the steakhouse. The next table over from us was an elderly couple that kind of came hobbling into the restaurant. And uh, they were there to celebrate their 50th wedding anniversary, their golden wedding anniversary. And they weren't very far away from Robin and I, so I couldn't help but eavesdropping. I don't like to do that, but I couldn't help it. And they're there to celebrate their 50th wedding anniversary. And the old lady looked at the old elderly man that she'd been married to for 50 years, and she said, you know, I can't stand you. And he looked back at her, and he said, you're no bed of roses to live with either. And they sat there for an hour and ridiculed each other and told each other after 50 years how much they couldn't stand each other. And then they got up and walked out together. I never met two people that were more miserable in my life. And I... I had to stop myself from laughing watching that couple, but I thought to myself, it really is difficult for people to come into agreement. How can two walk together except they agree? And, and the law of agreement is a great key to wealth and prosperity. You know, in Matthew chapter 18 and verse 19, Jesus said, if any two or more will agree as touching anything, it shall be done of the heavenly Father. You have to come into agreement before God can work miracles in your life, especially financial miracles. That's why in Proverbs chapter 29, verse 18, the Bible says, without a vision, the people perish. You've got to be on the same page with somebody before financial miracles can happen in your life. There's three agreement keys to success that I want to share with you quickly today. The first key is if you're ever really going to have financial breakthroughs in your life, You've got to create a winning circle in your life. The most important person you bring into your agreement circle is the person you're married to. If you're not married, your spouse is your ultimate most important person in your life that you have to come into agreement with. One of the richest men in the world, he's a billionaire, they asked him what the greatest key to wealth was. The guy's a multi-billionaire. He looked at them, he said, who you marry? The most important person you must come into agreement with is your spouse. You must create a winning circle of people who are on the same page that you're on. That's key number one to success through agreement. Key number two, you've got to eliminate people that are around you that oppose your vision. Now there's plenty of them. Whenever you start heading a direction with a vision in your life, and start seeing financial success in your life, there are going to be people that oppose your vision. Get rid of them. That's key number two. Key number three, you've got to figure out where you're headed and make sure that your inner circle, those that you've come into agreement with to succeed in life, they're on the same page that you're on. That's key number three. Figure out where you're going. If you don't know where you're going, how will you know when you get there? If you want to succeed financially in life, You've got to figure out where you're headed and then get somebody that's in agreement with you that's going the same direction you are. These are keys to uh, coming into the law of agreement and succeeding financially in life. I'm going to give you a success key as I wrap things up today. Figure out, first of all, where you're headed and then share the vision with those who are going there with you. I'm Pastor Danny Davis and it's been good to share this with you today.